Is my screen visible? Yes, my visible. Okay, sir. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Today we'll discuss about the topic Bellman Ford algorithm. In this algorithm, it is used to find the shortest path from the source to the all the nodes which is given. Here, this is also called as single source node uh, algorithm, in which where here we take only one source, and from that single source, we will find all the shortest distance to all other nodes. This is the example for that. Then uh, first, let us see what will be the input for the uh, for this algorithm. The input is the given vertex, and then we have to find the output will be the shortest distance to all the vertices from the source. Then uh, one of the drawback of this Bellman Ford algorithm is if there is a negative weight cycle, then the shortest path cannot be cannot be found using this Bellman Ford. So for that uh, condition, we have to choose the Dijkstra algorithm. And this, uh, when if there is a negative weight uh, edges, when uh, this algorithm is suitable for all the negative weight edges, but this is not possible for the negative weight cycle. If there is a negative weight cycle, then we uh, we uh, we will not be able to use this Bellman Ford algorithm because we won't get the proper output. And this algorithm, it is uh, the time complexity of this algorithm is uh, uh, O of V. And then let us uh, discuss about the algorithm. How how, how should we uh, uh, calculate the shortest path? First, what we have to do is first we have to initialize the distance. If there are five nodes in a given graph, then we have to iterate, or we have to uh, we have to do four iteration, which means vertex minus one, v minus one uh, set of iterations we have to do. Only then we'll get the correct shortest path distance for for the each node. Now first, that's what uh, that's what it is given. Initialize the distance from the source to all the vertices as finite. First, we have to mark all other vertices. Here I mean, will be given. A is a source node. So for the A, to itself, it is given 0. To itself, the uh, the shortest path is 0. And for all other nodes, from A to B, A to C, and A to D, and A to E, all other the nodes will be given uh, infinity. That is, uh, that, that is done in the first step. And then we have to create an array called distance. What is that? A shortest distance uh, where the size of the V. We are here, the size of our node is 5. We have 5 nodes. So V of 5. And then we have to uh, fill everything with infinite other than that of A because A is our source node. Then uh, the second, uh, this is the node, only node is, this is the only condition we have to see, uh, which means first we have to calculate if the uh, distance of V is greater than and distance of U plus weight of edge of v, UV. I'll, let me explain it when I, uh, when I come to the problem. Uh, we have to note this one. If this condition is satisfied, only then we have to change the weight of the each node, and which means the shortest distance of the each node. Then the third step. This step is uh, This step is found to find whether the graph contains the negative weight circle. If it contains a negative weight circle, then this algorithm is not suitable. I'll tell you. Uh, let me tell you. This is the draw one of the drawback. Uh, one of the drawback of Bellman Ford algorithm. Let me explain it in the next uh, example. So first, uh, let us take uh, five nodes in this. And initial source node is A. And then uh, all other nodes, B, C, D, E, will be given infinity uh, for in the first step. So then first, what we have to do is let the source node uh, be 0. Weight of the source node, I mean, uh, is 0. Then initialize all the distance as infinite except the distance to the source itself. So that's what A is 0. Then all other B, C, D, and E will be given infinity. Then total number of vertices in this graph is 5. So how many iterations we have to do? We have to do 4. 4 iterations we have to do. 4 times we have to find the shortest distance from each, from source node to the other, other nodes. First, uh, in our first vertex, it is 0. Then uh, next, what we have to do is we have to write all the edges down. I have written it here. B and D, one edge, and D, B, uh, B, D, A, B, A, C, D, C, and B, C, and A. It is not that one you have to write in this order. You can use any order. Uh, I have written uh, from the, uh, what you have to say is, from A to B, then what are the roots from B to C, and all other nodes. Then, then uh, next, next, we'll go to the first iteration. What happens in the first iteration? In the first iterations, we have calculated only A, B, and C. You can see that. For A, it is 0, B, it is minus 1, C, it is 2. Where E and D, it is such, uh, is still in infinity. First, we'll find, in first iteration, we'll find. It is not that in first iteration, we have to find only A, B, and C. We can also find A, B, C, D, E also. Then for this, for this example, I've done this. 
first uh, in the first condition we know that a is zero and all other is infinity then now here from here let me tell you from here from this place from a to b what has happened is it is given the uh, edge weight of the edge is minus one so what we have to do is zero minus one which is minus one that is the root there is the only path for the b from the source node the only path is minus one so it is written here it is given minus one and then uh, from a to c it is possible to reach c through a and c directly or a b and c so here that is what written from a to c it is all a to b it is already minus one and then a to c it is four then in the next condition we can also go to, uh, reach c through b so it is uh, now we have written zero and uh, zero minus one minus one it is written here and from here minus one plus three which is two now so this is the shortest rule it is not that it is directly a is directly connected to c it is not calculated like that it is it is used to find the shortest path which means we have to calculate the shortest uh, weight uh, in this uh, a b and c for this is uh, for to read c from a we have to go to b then to c this is the shortest path in this first iteration and then we'll move on to the second iteration now what happens in the second iteration is now in the second iteration we have calculated e and d okay uh, from the first iteration i have taken all the details this side and then uh, we know that from uh, a to a it is zero then a to b it is minus one and the shortest route for c is also we found it that is two and then next uh, from the b will start from the b to e what is it is given for the b we know that it is minus one it is over here for the b it is known as it is minus one so what we have to do is minus one plus two which is one that is the root is given here that is given e and then we have to find the other root for d there is two roots b e through b then e uh, we can reach d and also we can directly reach d so now here what we have done is first uh, we have taken this root where the zero minus one and two we know that it uh, for a b c and we have calculated and then for d what we have done is the uh, direct path is here we know it is minus one here the b value is minus one so minus one uh, from b to d directly if we go minus one plus two which is one okay it is one and then uh, b2 is one so the in this step in this step what you have done is zero minus two two one and one and the other root is from b e and d so here what we have done is here already minus one it is two then it is one here now we have to calculate the weight through e and d what you have done is one minus three which is minus two the shortest path is here it is minus two since if we go for the third iteration we will get the same weight we will get the same zero minus one two minus two one so uh, what what is happening is in, in the second iteration itself we have got the output but uh, if we go to the third iteration there will not be any changes in this graph so that we need not calculate third and fourth iteration so, but uh, as through the algorithm if the process is done through the algorithm so what we have to do is since it has given five nodes because there contains five nodes we have to do the iteration for four time, uh, four times we have to do the iteration here since we got this uh, uh, output in the second iteration itself and also if we do the third or fourth we'll get the same output of the second iteration so we need not carry on with that iteration this is our final output zero minus one two minus two and one and then our uh, some notes to be remembered what is the negative weights are found in various application of graphs for example instead of playing the cost of the path that's what i told you it is not from a to c directly you reach the shortest path is calculated from a b and c we have to see the weights alone not the path or the edges that is connected to each nodes and then belmont ford works better than dej extra for distributed system uh, where dej extra is where we need to find the minimum value of all vertex in belmont ford edges are considered one by one in uh, in this algorithm belmont ford algorithm each edge is calculated and then through that edges we have to find the weight of the shortest path for the each node okay i told that the drawback of this algorithm is uh, when there is negative weight cycle then this uh, this is not possible because the iteration will not stop let me explain it through example here the negative weight cycle uh, example we have discussed this is the given uh, this is the given graph for us in this graph first initially i have taken all the uh, edges of the nodes which means uh, 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 here in the first iteration i have calculated 0 to 1 what it is infinity 0 uh, 0 what i have done is it is 0 for the first node i have taken the source as 0 
0 minus 1 will get it is less than infinity right it is less than infinity so it is written 1 and then if we calculate um, the 1 to 1 uh, we have to find the edges like that 1 minus 1 will get 0 and 2 to 3 we have to calculate this is 0 minus 1 1 like that the iterations will go on since uh, since uh, in the negative y cycle we have to consider there is only four nodes in this what we have to do in this four nodes the iteration will be uh, should be done only three times because vertex minus one v minus one that is four minus one three times but this after the third iteration we must get the correct output but we won't get the correct output because the, the, it contains a negative weight cycle. See, even though I told that after the third iteration, there should not be any changes in the graph. But what you have to do, if we, again, if we start from 0 to 1, you can see the changes. Uh, minus 6 uh, plus 1, which is minus 5, which is better than minus 3. So we have to change this minus 3 as minus 5 because we won't get the, this iterations will go on and there is no, it will be incomplete. So we will not be able to complete this uh, graph. So when there is negative edge, a negative weight cycle, this algorithm is not possible. Thank you. Lakshmi, you can start now. Good afternoon to everyone. The topic is Floyd Warshall algorithm. This is an algorithm for finding the star test path between all pair of vertices in a weighted graph. Uh, this algorithm works for both uh, weighted and both direct and undirected graph. A weighted graph in which each edge has a numerical value associated with it. In this graph, no negative value, no negative cycles. In the graph, no negative cycles. Negative cycles where sum of edges in a cycle is negative. This uh, algorithm is also known as uh, Roy Floyd Wright's algorithm, Lati Roy Wartzel's algorithm. In, in this graph, uh, there is no loophole, so we put uh, all diagonals equal to zero. Uh, uh, according to this algorithm, we need distance table, sequence table. Uh, iteration of n minus 1, n of the number of node. In the number of node, when the 4, up 4 minus 1 equal to 3, up in the 3 iterations. Uh, distance table abdinger than I'm empty denote panuna d d0 d1 and d1 equal to d1 lend the dn varicum sequence table abdinger than the s not s1 lend the sn varicum iteration when the k and denote panuva in the graph lavanda uh, first one the nama d d0 abdinger the lavanda nama first eng 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 in the graph, we have loopholes in the graph, we have diagonals in the graph, we have a path in the graph. Then, we have a path to A to B, 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 we have a path to A to B. Adem madri A to C A to C keng directa path to A to B, we have a path to A to B, we have a path to A to B, we have a path to A to B. Direct angka A to D kila, D to A to D to A dah erka, anala nama angka infinity potukro. Adem madri allah tu kau kandu pergi no. Adukapro first intermediate ni erdukro. Intermediate one intermediate erkum bodi angka A be intermediate a wedge be infinity potai dikala mande, nama mande value kandu pergi stevaro. Ipo A to adem madri A to B keng kau pergi mudi dan pakro. Ingge A to B kah la pat hilal dan ala nama ade infinity abdiya dah erku. A to C bende directa three nu kurter kan ala nama ang three potrukon. A to D bende ingge illa dan ala abdiya dah infinity maruti abdiya dah erku. Adit bende A to B to A k bende B to A k erken me angga directa kurter two nu kurter kan ala nama ang two potrukon. Adit B to C bende B to C bandar B to A lenda, apri A to C poro nala, A to B bandar two, apro A to C bandar three, apa two plus three inggil dah, anggup fine, nama potrukon. Anu madri marudi irka allah tu kong kandu pudi keno. Adte second intermediate le, A mu first adte A intermediate, adte bandar B intermediate, rent intermediate, macam marudi ide infinity irka, ide kalam marudi value kandu pudi keno. 
அதே மாதிரி தேர்ட் இன்டர்மீடியட் எடுக்கும் போது ஏ பி சி மூணு இன்டர்மீடியட் ஆயிரும் இதை வச்சு கண்டுபிடிக்கும் போது எல்லா இதுக்கும் வேல்யூஸ் கண்டுபிடிச்சிருவோம் கண்டுபிடிச்சாலும் ஃபோர்த் இன்டர்மீடியட் வரையிலும் கண்டுபிடிக்கணும் அப்பதான் வந்து நம்ம முன்னாடி கண்டுபிடிச்ச வேல்யூஸ் எல்லாம் வந்து கரெக்ட் கரெக்டான வேல்யூஸ்ல இருக்கா இல்லாட்டி அதை விட சின்ன ஸ்மால் வேல்யூ இருந்துச்சுன்னா அந்த வேல்யூ இதுல ரீப்ளேஸ் பண்ணிக்கலாம் அப்புறம் டைம் காம்ப்ளெக்சிட்டி ஆஃப் ஃப்ளோய்ட் வாட்சல் வந்து ஓ ஆஃப் என் கியூபு பேஸ் காம்ப்ளெக்சிட்டி ஆஃப் ஃப்ளோய்ட் வாட்சல் வந்து ஓ ஆஃப் என் ஸ்கொயர் சார் இட் இஸ் டன் சார் யா எஸ் வெரி குட் போத் ஆஃப் யூ பிரசன்டட் வெல் Uh, what my personal observation is preeti you should go little slow you should go little slow and uh, okay, the way of delivery you should have some ups and downs you should have uh, everything is in the same flow and in a fast uh, paced manner so in subsequent uh, seminar like this uh, you please uh, uh, note it down and you can make some correction out of it huh? since it is an assignment and this is an online cases you are doing like that and lakshmi uh, you, you should improve your confidence level that's what i uh, i wish to say to you you should improve your confidence level uh, with a lot of boldness and courage you should uh, present your content right okay uh, apart from that both of you have done uh, very nice uh, this is i i can take it as a assignment for third unit right so this is third okay. unit right so this i will yes, take a assignment for third unit um, let me stop the recording first <laughs>